this, we got a case of t-shirts for KTG Hat Company. Yay, KTG. We got mediums, we got larges, we got extra larges, uh, we got double X's, we got three X's. What else is there? Got one more 4x, lots of 3x's, 2x's, 1x's, larges, and mediums. So, anybody who is interested in getting a KTG t shirt, uh, the prices went down slightly. There's still 20, but shipping is only $10. Uh, went down from 13 to 10, so it's 30 bucks. All you basically have to do is just, you know, PayPal me the money, uh, 30 bucks, and uh, it's 20 plus 10 shipping. And if you're getting multiple hats um, after the first hat, each uh, hat is only $1.25 additional for shipping. So you could just email me at the same quadrogong at gmail.com, and I'll tell you how much you could uh, PayPal. But that's about it. Uh, Welcome back. What's up, everybody? I want to show you guys some of these excellent Cygnus samples. They've given me a few samples that were from last summer, not from this coming spring 2024. So I'm actually able to sell off these samples. They're very high-end Panamas, and there's one parabontal. Really extremely nice stuff. Um, they happen to be in sample sizes, so um, that's just one particular thing. Uh, all of these hats are going to be either size 58 or size 60 because that's basically a sample size. Um, so if anybody is interested, what you can do is you could just contact me at my email, which is flashed all over these videos. You could contact me at Kevin Todd Gerber at gmail.com or at quadrogong at gmail.com. Those are my two emails. Uh, contact me, or you could send me a Facebook messenger if you'd rather do that, and uh, we can discuss the price of these. Some of them are very high end, some of them are just a little high end, um, but they're all gorgeous. Take a look, you guys are gonna definitely dig this. Okay, these are size 60, 60 centimeters. This is an extremely fine, fine weave Panama. Very, very fine weave. Looks like it's woven back into itself at the edge. There's no seam. It's got that Monte Cristi edge. Um, I don't know if these are super high-end Cuencas or Monte Cristis. They're very, very fine. This one has a wider brim. The brim looks like it to be about three inches. Somewhat like a, uh, a Verdi style. The brim is... No, it's not three inches. It's, uh, I'm sure it's in centimeters, but it's between two and three quarters, uh, something like that. Two and three quarters to two and seven eighths. Right in the middle between a two and three quarters and a three. This has a brown, kind of a taupe brown band on it. Very, very, very fine. You can see this is not typical Panama. Super, super fine. Leather sweatbands, very, very soft leather. Good to keep the perspiration out. Okay, there are three size 60s. Here's another one. This one has a bit of a fancy band to it. Well, not that fancy, actually. It's just got some very subtle trimming. It is not as fine as the last one. It's more like a, a film style. It's a teardrop, a C crown, kind of a high crown. Looks like about a two and a half, three inch brim. Interesting color. All right.
tip sticker, leather sweatband. Very nice, soft leather. Third one, this is not a Panama, this is much lighter. This is a pork pie crown, almost has a Spanish bolero kind of a look to it. Where's, this is Parabuntal, what is this? Genuine Panama. Now this this feels like a Parabuntal, this is a sample, so the graphics inside might be a little off or something. like a, uh, a prototype. Very extremely light, lightweight. It's like a three inch broom. That's a three. Okay, so these three were size 60. Let's bring it on. Another sickness coming up. Okay, these are size 60, 60 centimeters. This is an extremely fine, fine weave Panama. Very, very fine weave. Looks like it's woven back into itself at the edge. There's no seam, it's got that Monte Cristi edge. Um, I don't know if these are super high-end Cuencas or Monte Cristis. They're very, very fine. This one has a wider brim. The brim looks like it to be about three inches. Somewhat like a, uh, a Verdi style. The brim is, no, it's not three inches. It's, uh, I'm sure it's in centimeters, but it's between two and three quarters, uh, something like that. Two and three quarters to two and seven eighths right in the middle between a two and three quarters and a three. This has a brown, kind of a taupe brown band on it. Very, very, very fine. You can see this is not typical. Panama, super, super fine. Leather sweatbands, very, very soft leather. Good to keep the perspiration out. Okay, there are three size 60s. Here's another one. This one has a bit of a fancy band to it. Well, not that fancy, actually. It's just got some very subtle trim. It is not as fine as the last one. It's more like a, a film style. It's a teardrop, a C crown, kind of a high crown. Looks like about a two and a half, three inch brim. Interesting color. All right. Tip sticker, leather sweatband. Very nice, soft leather. Third one. This is not a Panama, this is much lighter. This is a pork pie crown. Almost has a Spanish bolero kind of a look to it. Where's, this is Parabuntal? What is this? Genuine Panama. Now this, this feels like a Parabuntal. This is a sample, so. The graphics inside might be a little off or something. It's like a, uh, a prototype. Very extremely light, lightweight. It's like a three inch broom. That's a three. Okay, so these three were size 60. Bring it on. Another sickness coming up. Fancy band. This is a size 58. Okay, the next ones will be all size 58s. This has a very interesting Panama weave that I've never seen before. It's just a genuine Panama. But you can see the weave is unique. It has kind of like a side like a horizontal horizontal cross hatching kind of thing going on. 
It's just a very interesting, elegant texture, which really goes well with the band. The band is almost woven. It almost looks like, like it's all embroidered. It's very, very interesting material. Can't tell if that's a navy or a black. Could be a very dark, dark navy, I believe. With like an oatmeal natural color. Really nice. This has got a cloth sweatband. Makes the hat lighter. The weight, size 58 pound. Okay, next. Next, we're getting to the super fine, fine ones. Okay, this is finer than the other ones you've seen. Very, very, very fine. Um, this one has an interesting shape. It's like a, no, no pinches. So it's sort of like a teardrop on top, but it's more like a pear shaped pork pie in reality. Medium brim that looks like about two inches, possibly a little more, kind of a lowish crown, somewhere in between a teardrop and a pork pie, I would say that it looks like. And I'll put a classic hat next to it. You can see what I mean. It's just a little bit smaller, but it's not really a short brim hat, it's like a medium brim. Something like uh, two or two and a quarter inch, but this is very fine. It's got like, you know, like no airflow going through it. It's just totally tight. Very, very few breaches in the light there. The brim is almost better. Wow, very nice. That's double thick, so you see nothing there. Gorgeous. All right, let's bring out another. So that's another 58. Okay. This was a 58 with fancy band, those two. Let's bring out the big daddy of them all, the last 58. This is the Optimo, foldable Optimo. Very, very, very fine, super fine. This is soft, fine enough to roll up. Very soft, light, elegant. Of course, they put a leather sweatband in it, which is really interesting. You would think there would be a cloth band so that it would fold easier, but leather is nice. Because when you have a hat that's really expensive, you don't want to sweat right through it. You know, you perspire through your Monte Cristi on the first week and you'll be in tears and stuff. So I like that. Their, their leather sweatbands are very, very fine and thin and soft. And they lay very flush against the side of the hat. So you can almost, you can't tell if it's cloth or leather, you know, unless you get close. There's no rippling and it's really thin and soft. Take a look at this. Parabuntal. Very, very fine bundle. Look at this gorgeous hat. This is as light as it gets. Uh, it's not Panama. This is Parabuntle, which is just extremely light, lightweight, very fine. Um, Panama is sort of light. This is much, much lighter. Uh, it's like feather light. It almost, the, the tag weighs more than the hat. Now it's not totally, you know, uh, sun, it's not opaque, you know, there's a tip sticker up there for sweat and stuff, but um, this will keep you cool. The average person is fine, but if you have, uh, you know, issues with like uh, skin cancer and things like that, it's probably not the best weave for you. Parabuntal is made just for lightness. It's like having a shade hat on your head that doesn't have any weight at all. So if, you know, you're one of those guys who wears hats, but you don't like the weight of it, even the tiny weight of a Panama bothers you. This is like wearing nothing. It's just like a, feels like you just have the band on and that's it. It's really, generally they put super light bands in here too. 
because you know the band itself can weigh more than a hat yeah so it's sad and that's typical for a hat like this um this is size 60. this is my favorite of all of them beautiful snap brim it's got that pale yellow band size 60. do a great job installing their sweatbands. So everything is just so perfect. Okay, so this is batch one. There's three hats of 58. Three hats and a 60. So 58 there, there, and there. And the 60s. You have that one. You have this one. Parabontal. And you have that three inch extremely tight one. I think this one is tighter than, than the optimal. This might be the tightest of all. I don't know how many lines this one is, but with the wide three inch frame. So this, yeah, this 60 is definitely expensive, I'm sure. So what, that's an extra large size 60. What we have here is six hats, 358s, 360s. I also have a full box here of about 10 Cygnus straws that are brand new for the spring. I haven't cracked those open yet. Those are coming next. I want to show you batch one before I show you the next batch, only because I'm not sure if the next ones I'm allowed to sell them quite yet. So these hats we can always work with, this and that. The other ones I'm not sure I'm gonna have to find out for you. Uh, I'm able to sell the samples yet or not, but uh, hope you enjoyed our little show. Fancy band. This is a size 58. Okay, the next ones will be all size 58s. This is a very interesting Panama weave that I've never seen before. It's just a genuine Panama but you can see the weave is unique. It has kind of like a side, like a horizontal horizontal cross hatching kind of thing going on. It's just a very interesting, elegant texture, which really goes well with the band. The band is almost woven. It almost looks like, like it's all embroidered. It's very, very interesting material. Can't tell if that's a navy or a black. Could be a very dark, dark navy, I believe. With like an oatmeal natural color. Really nice. This has got a cloth sweatband. Makes the hat lighter. The weight, size 58 Panama. Okay, next. Next, we're getting to the super fine, fine ones. Okay, this is finer than the other ones you've seen. Very, very, very fine. Um, this one has an interesting shape. It's like a, no, no pinches. So it's sort of like a teardrop on top, but it's more like a pear-shaped pork pie in reality. Medium brim that looks like about two inches, possibly a little more, kind of a lowish crown, somewhere in between a teardrop and a pork pie, I would say that it looks like. And I'll put a classic hat next to it. You can see what I mean. It's just a little bit smaller, but it's not really a short brim hat, it's like a medium brim. Something like uh, two or two and a quarter inch, but this is very fine. It's got like, you know, like no airflow going through it. It's just totally tight. Very, very few breaches in the light there. The brim is almost better. Wow, very nice. That's double thick, so you see nothing there. 
gorgeous. All right, let's bring on another. So that's another 58. Okay, this was a 58 with fancy band, those two. Let's bring out the big daddy of them all, the last 58. This is the Optimo, foldable Optimo. Very, very, very fine, super fine. This is soft, fine enough to roll up. Very soft, light, elegant. Of course, they put another sweatband in it, which is really interesting. You would think there would be a cloth band so that it would fold easier, but leather is nice. Because when you have a hat that's really expensive, you don't want to sweat right through it. You know, you perspire through your Monte Cristi on the first week and you'll be in tears and stuff, so. I like that their, their leather sweatbands are very, very fine and thin and soft, and they lay very flush against the side of the hat. So you can almost, you can't tell if it's cloth or leather, you know, unless you get close. There's no rippling and it's really thin and soft. They do a great job installing their sweatbands. So everything is just so perfect. Okay, so this is batch one. There's three hats of 58, three hats and a 60. So 58 there, there, and there, and the 60s. You have that one, you have this one, parabontal, and you have that three inch extremely tight one. I think this one's tighter than, than the optimal. This might be the tightest of all. I don't know how many lines this one is, but with the wide three inch brim, so this, yeah, this 60 is definitely expensive, I'm sure. So well, that's an extra large size 60. What we have here is six hats, 358s, 360s. I also have a full box here of about 10 Cygnus straws that are brand new for the spring. I haven't cracked those open yet. Those are coming next. I want to show you batch one before I show you the next batch only because I'm not sure if the next ones I'm allowed to sell them quite yet. So these hats we can always work with this and that. The other ones I'm not sure I'm gonna have to find out for you if I'm able to sell the samples yet or not. But I uh, hope you enjoyed our little show. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. <laughs>